So as a retina specialist, we're always looking for good options to treat conditions such as central serous retinopathy, macular edema, and uh, sometimes there's, we find that there's uh, limited tools in our toolbox and Micropulse Laser uh, just adds another option and uh, gives us a safe way to, to treat uh, these, these conditions. The Micropulse Laser has been very helpful in uh, reducing my need to give intravitreal injections for conditions that cause macular edema, particularly diabetic macular edema. Uh, I find that with Micropulse treatment, I don't need to give as many injections in order to get the same uh, result. As an adjunct therapy, uh, Micropulse laser helps decrease the amount of overall injections that I would generally need to give over the course of a year. For patients who have diabetic macular edema, I like to start uh, their treatment uh, with, with Micropulse laser and then they'll generally need an anti-VEGF therapy afterwards, uh, but generally less than they would if they had not had the laser to begin with. I would tell a colleague uh, who's skeptical about Micropulse laser to give it a try because it's a non-destructive option uh, for treatment of uh, conditions that were historically very difficult to treat, such as central serous retinopathy, diabetic macular edema. The cost for trying it is quite low because it's a non-ablative, non-destructive therapy, and the benefit can potentially be pretty high in reducing the overall injection burden for the patient. The ideal patient for uh, a patient that I've seen in my practice for micropulse laser would be the patient who comes in with subretinal fluid um, from an acute attack of central serous retinopathy who I've observed for several weeks, they haven't gotten better, and uh, they might have a, a lesion uh, within their fovea causing subfoveal fluid that I would not want to treat with a traditional ablative uh, focal laser. Uh, the Micropulse laser tends to work very well in uh, treating the, the fluid for this type of condition. When I have a patient who I feel like is a good candidate for Micropulse laser, I explain the mechanism by uh, telling them that it, in effect, um, tickles the part of the retina that uh, is responsible for uh, resorbing fluid when blood vessels become leaky. And uh, once this laser is applied, uh, it helps the retina to, to essentially um, uh, resorb this fluid and, 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 and treat itself. I've I've been able to incorporate Micropulse laser into my practice when I have a patient who comes in with either macular edema from uh, diabetic uh, retinopathy or from uh, retinal vein occlusion, or when I have a patient who has central serous retinopathy who's failed um, initial observation. I will generally go to Micropulse laser as a, as a first line uh, treatment. For central serous, I believe it works incredibly well. For diabetic macular edema, it works well more so to decrease your injection burden in patients who have severe swelling. But it's really helped in giving me an option to treat um, subfoveal uh, fluid. Micropulse laser helps in my capacity to teach residents in the field of ophthalmology how to perform uh, surgical procedures such as um, focal laser for macular edema and central serous retinopathy. The benefits of uh, Micropulse laser are that it's a sub-threshold laser. It doesn't cause destruction to the retinal tissue. So when you're teaching a uh, first or second year resident how to use a, a laser on a, on a live patient, it's very unlikely that you're going to cause any damage and it really helps in giving them confidence that they, that they need to learn how to uh, effectively treat patients with laser therapy. So if I had to describe Micropulse laser with three words, I would use cutting edge technology. The benefits of, of using Iridex in my practice are that the customer service uh, representatives are incredibly reliable and accessible. Uh, one time I had an issue with the laser and uh, I was able to call directly my representative on the phone. He was able to troubleshoot it. Another time they were, they were very, very um, accessible and actually replaced the laser uh, within 24 hours um, so that I could go on with my practice. In the field of retina, laser surgery has been the gold standard for treating uh, macular edema for decades. It's also been the gold standard for treating conditions like macular degeneration, uh, but historically it's caused a lot of tissue damage, and so it's really nice to have a sub-threshold laser or a, a new type of laser that doesn't cause uh, as much destruction, it's non-ablative, and uh, gives good results. Micropulse laser, in addition to being very effective in treating macular edema, is uh, very easy for the patient to undergo. They generally don't have any pain uh, and it's a, a quick 
uh, an easy recovery process after the treatment.